Hey everyone, Carl here with Trial Byte Studios, and today we're talking about Kulasukas. Most of us paleo nerds have fond memories of Kulasukas when it swam onto the silver screen in 2000, making an appearance in Disney's Dinosaur. Kulasukas comedically swallowed the egg of the main protagonist, then spat it out with a rather shocked look on its face. Kulasukas also appeared in the highly acclaimed BBC series Walking with Dinosaurs, where it received spotlight as a massive amphibious predator preying on anything that came too close to its domain. But what was Kulasukas really like? Stick around and find out. Uh, by the way, just as a side note, part of the reason I made this video was for my fiance. We were talking about Disney's dinosaur the other day, and she remembered uh, Kulasukas as being the big newt thing. So yeah, uh, and then she started calling me a Dorkasukas, but uh, whatever. Anyway, Kulasukas was first discovered around the year 1980, but it wouldn't be described or mentioned until 1986 in a publication by Ann Warren and R. Jupp. More Kulasukas remains were discovered in 1989, and helped paleontologists define the order of Timnospondyli. Timnospondylids are an order of primitive amphibians, ranging from small to absolutely gargantuan sizes, like Kulasukas. Further, there is still some debate as to if Timnospondylids are the ancestors of modern amphibians, like frogs, newts, and salamanders, or if they died off without leaving any true descendants. Kulasukas lived in the early Cretaceous, and is characterized by several factors. The first and foremost of these is, of course, the size of Kulasukas. Kulasukas is massive, measuring nearly 10 feet long and weighing an estimated 1,100 pounds. It boasts a robust build, suitable for an aquatic lifestyle. Its body was streamlined and it sported a thick, muscular tail to propel itself through the water. Kulasukas is believed to have primarily been a carnivore and used an ambush-style hunting method akin to crocodilians. It is also believed that Kulasukas lived in shallow, fast-moving streams and rivers. All of this means that Kulasukas likely hunted and killed many of our favorite dinosaurs. Kulasukas stands out from its Timnospondyli cousins for a couple of reasons. The first is the environment that Kulasukas lived in. It is believed that Kulasukas lived in a colder climate. It inhabited streams and rivers in Australia during the early Cretaceous. Australia was, at the time, below the Arctic Circle, which would have made Kulasukas' environment colder than average for the Mesozoic. The second reason for Kulasukas' uniqueness is the size of its head. It is massive, measuring just over 26 inches long, or 2 feet 2 inches long. This means that Kulasukas' head took up more than one-fifth of its overall body size, likely giving it a powerful, bone-crushing bite that allowed it to drag its prey to their watery grave. Kulasukas was undoubtedly the top predator in its aquatic environment during the early Cretaceous. However, as the continents continued to move and shift during the Middle and Late Cretaceous, Australia found itself in a much warmer part of the world, and Kulasukas found itself competing against the much more successful crocodilians in its environmental niche. Unable to keep pace with its crocodilian counterparts, Kulasukas teetered on the brink of extinction, but sadly would not survive much longer.